ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so you guys know what that mean means. We have another tale coming from the Pissy Pie Piper, honey, okay? So what's going on now is that there is another R. Kelly victim that's coming out. This woman is 30 years old, and she's saying that R. Kelly slept with her, um, raped her when she was 13, okay? She's in Detroit. She's really upset. She is higher glory on red. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this interview really quick, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. Breaking news tonight, another state is in Investigating R. Kelly, CBS 2 investigator Brad Edwards is breaking the newest case. He joins us live from the newsroom. Brad. Yeah, this has been percolating for a couple days, but able to break it now. Kelly's gripe has been in part that this is double jeopardy, that it's a, a virtual retrial of the Illinois charges he beat a decade plus ago. However, this time there are new alleged victims, and now I know another state has its eyes on one Robert Kelly. In that investigation, the alleged victim's age at the time, 13. Sources tell me the Detroit Police Department is all in on their own R. Kelly case. My sources say the underage victim, quote, states that she was visiting her mother in Michigan in December of 2001. She made contact with a friend who was a personal assistant of Mr. Kelly. The then underage girl in Kelly allegedly engaged in sexual intercourse at an undisclosed hotel. Another incident took place weeks after at a recording studio. The victim states that she also visited R. Kelly in Atlanta, Georgia, between the ages of 14 through 18, and she alleges R. Kelly gave her herpes at the age of 17. She now lives out of state, I'm told, outside of Michigan, but sources tell me Detroit police plan to fly her in for an interview, eventually, potentially, handing the case over to the Wayne County prosecutor, Detroit's version of a state's attorney. There are deep Detroit roots in the reemergence of the R. Kelly drama. Surviving R. Kelly, the multi-night lifetime television epic on the twisted tales of the megastar's alleged sexual perversions, was produced by a Detroiter. The docuseries followed Kelly's troubled Chicago childhood to his early success, to his secret relationship with the late singer superstar Detroit's Aaliyah. Kelly married Aaliyah, his manager's niece, when Kelly was 27 and Aaliyah was 15, per reports. And as for official comment from the Detroit Police Department, their spokesperson had none. We believe said victim is represented by power attorney Gloria Allred. 20 minutes ago, Ms. Allred got back to us and said, sorry, but I have no comment. All right, so you guys just watched that clip. So this new accuser says she's willing to go under oath. She's willing to go to court and testify. Now, R. Kelly has been saying that the legal system is trying to double jeopardy him because we all know he got away back in 2008 um, when he went to trial for sexual abuse before. And so he's saying that they're just trying to, you know, retrial his trial. But the problem is this is a brand new accuser. Nobody had ever seen her or heard of her. Um, so she can basically file new claims against him. And he is being charged. He's already been charged on 10 counts. He got out a few days ago because he owed child support. So he was locked up after the Gail King interview. Um, he owed $160,000 in child support. It's come out now where he said the reason why he wasn't paying it is basically he's trying to punish his ex-wife, Drea, for turning his kids against him. But now he's had some friends, some fans. I don't know who the hell paid that damn bill, but they paid the bill and now he's out, right? So now the crazy thing that's going on is the day after he got out on the child support charges, this couple in Pennsylvania claims they found another R. Kelly sex tape, okay? I guess VHSs are just making a comeback because I'm like, well, damn, I don't look all over my house and I don't, I don't have no VHSs. Like, what the hell? You know what I'm saying? Like, where are all these VHSs coming from? But I guess VHS is making a comeback, honey, okay? And they're stating they just happened to find this R. Kelly tape in a box and he's sexually abusing, you know, some little girl on the tape. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news conference with this man, his wife, and Gloria Aldred. Check 
this side, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. R. Kelly was released from jail over the weekend after someone paid the back child support owed to his ex-wife. But he walked free into even more controversy. A man claims that he found a tape amongst his old videos, which contained Kelly sexually abusing a number of young girls. But the question is, is it really him on the tape? Did this man really find an R. Kelly sex tape in a box of old junk? He was sexually abusing underage African-American girls. Gary Dennis, who works at a Pennsylvania nursing home, made the claim in a bombshell press conference next to his wife and attorney Gloria Allred. He says he found the tape in a box of old VHS recordings. I can't get the memory out of my head. Gloria Allred stopped by our newsroom today. How did this tape end up in Mr. Dennis's possession. He does not know. He has tried to remember. He doesn't know. In the past, uh, he's had friends who knew that he loved sports, and sometimes they would give him sports tapes. What do you say to the people out there who say, oh, this looks all too convenient, right? R. Kelly's going through all of this uh, right now, and this guy just happens to find this tape <laughs> this week? in this box? Well, he was just cleaning out his VHS tapes and, you know, deciding which ones he wants to keep and which ones he wants to throw out. It's open season on our Kelly. Kelly's attorney, Everybody Steve Greenberg, ridiculed the existence of the long lost tape, saying the man on the tape kind of sort of looks like R. Kelly. That doesn't make it him. It is irresponsible to continue to take the speculation of every Tom, Dick and Harry and report it as if it is fact. Kelly was released from jail this weekend after spending three days behind bars. All right, so you guys just saw what they had to say. This entire situation to me is just getting crazy and crazy by the day, okay? We all know that R. Kelly is definitely guilty of abusing a lot of women. Not only that, he had the original sex tape out there. There's been a lot of proof that R. Kelly has done a lot of fucked up shit. But I've also been able to call out some of these so-called newer victims who to me are also full of shit, okay? But with that being said, I find it very, very interesting that the timing of this tape was found after R. Kelly just got out of jail and now this couple just mysteriously finds an R. Kelly sex tape. Obviously, there's definitely something there because they've not hired legal counsel. Gloria Audrey is involved. They caught the police. But I don't, I don't believe the whole story on they just happened to be going through boxes. They were just cleaning out the attic over the weekend. And out of all the celebrities in the world, they happened to find a long lost R. Kelly sex tape. I'm not buying it. Either that sex tape has been there, this couple been known about the sex tape, or somebody gave it to the couple and asked them to come out and basically speak out about the sex tape. But I'm not buying what the couple is saying. I'm not saying that there's not a sex tape. I'm not saying that R. Kelly's not on the sex tape. Tape, you know what I'm saying, slinging his beef stick to some young girl. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that this whole situation to me is just coming off just, it's just coming off strange. I just find it really, really strange that it's happening in this manner. I mean, let's keep it real. How random is it that a random couple in PA, you know, happens to find an R. Kelly sex tape while this man is being blasted all over, you know, the media? And now they're coming forward. It just seems really, really random. And it seems very precise with the timing of the R. Kelly controversy. You know, the logical part of me is really saying, I wonder how many times this man watched that sex tape. I wonder how many times they shared it with friends. I wonder how many times they bragged about it to people that know them. Like, yo, we got an R. Kelly sex tape, but we're just waiting for the right time. You know what I'm saying? To release it and to jump on the R. Kelly bandwagon. You know what I mean? So like I said... I'm seeing through a lot of bullshit, not saying that R. Kelly's not guilty, not saying that R. Kelly's innocent in any of this, but a lot of these folks coming out, I'm seeing people who are looking for attention, book deals, money, and everything else. So this entire situation is just really insane, but there's definitely going to be more shit coming down the pipeline, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Pissy Pie Piper, we have another woman coming out, and she's willing to testify. She's in Detroit. How do you guys feel about that? And then how do you guys feel about this so-called older couple who just randomly found an R. Kelly sex tape in their damn attic, okay? Let me know what you guys think about that as well. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. All right. Deuces. <laughs>